local family hopes their loved one's health turns a corner here in 2021. They are asking for the public's help to make that happen. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter with their story. Hi everyone, this is my grandpa and he has bad kidneys. So it's not typical to see a social media post about renal failure from an eight-year-old. I actually just turned eight and three quarters on January 9th. But Hannah Oliveira's grandfather doesn't have a typical situation. I want my grandpa to feel better. My health has basically been degenerating for the last year and a half. 70-year-old Daniel Greenberg got answers five months ago. Greenberg needs a kidney transplant. The Sandy Hook resident is on the list, but the wait is a long one. They've told us approximately eight years. In our opinion, well, that's not an option. Um, so, you know, we need to do our best to find someone as soon as we can. It's a role reversal of sorts for Greenberg, who took care of his sick wife until her death a year ago. My wife was diagnosed with ALS in April of 2016. So there was more or less four years that she had a degrading situation. And it was it wasn't pleasant. He's gone through quite a bit over the last couple of years as the primary caregiver for my mom. And um, we want him to be able to live. Rachel you know, Oliveira says while her mom's disease was incurable, this situation is different. That's why she, her husband, and her daughter have turned to their network and to social media to help find a living donor for him. Just like any loved one, you want to do whatever you can to preserve uh, their health so that they're not only uh, surviving but thriving. Immediate family members aren't an option right now, but they're hoping someone out there is. We want him to be a great grandpa to his grandkids, um, you know, to be able to travel, to be able to do the things that he has not been able to do. Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. We do have more information on our website about the process and testing to be a living donor. It starts with a simple two-minute form. You'll find a link to that and contact information for Rachel Oliveira and the Yale transplant teams.